Hello. I grabbed a catalogue from the Hermann's exhibition called Racht, which is in Studio 10 on Wicklow Street, all day today, 10 to 5 Saturday, Sunday 10 to 5 Monday as well. So my piece wasn't in the physical one, but um, I was very happy to see my work in print. Anyway, so I picked my top nine, if you want to go through with me. These are my favourites. So who we got? Um, oh yeah, lot, lots of my favourite work wasn't in the physical exhibition. So it's kind of interesting to see, you know, it's trends. Sure, it's all very subjective, isn't it? But um, yeah, I like original, unique, weird, quirky, busy, uh, imaginative uh, art is my favourite kind. Um, okay, so Irina Macaulay, Memories. Uh, I just really like this one. Why? Because it's weird. It's unusual. You know, I've never really seen anything like it. It's a bit spacey. Uh, you know, it's still Irishy. Like, you know, that could be a bog field. Um, but definitely a bit interdimensional, you know, planet, sun. And the tone, I guess, as well. Uh, it's quite warm tones and colourful. Okay, this is a bit... Uh, just... Bear with me there. Um, Hermans. Yeah. Now, who else did I pick? Yes, this one really stood out for me. This wasn't in the exhibition either, but this is, again, my own personal favourites. Rachel Strong, Portrait of Woman with Fish. Um, As the name suggests. It's just, yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, Frida Kahlo or something. You know, the eyes are really, really looking at you. And again, it's very original, imaginative. You wonder what she's thinking. I'd call this like a friendly, cartoony style. So, and again, the kind of, I guess I'm a biased towards orange, but a very nice, warm, warm hues, warm tone. Okay, so what else did I pick? Oh yeah, okay, so this one is in the physical exhibition on 10 Wicklow Street, Studio, uh, Studio 10. All weekend. So this is uh, Paula McGurdy from far away. They look like small little houses. This really caught my eye because it kind of reminds me of the kind of doodling, you know, that I do or have done myself um, in day jobs and what have you in school and whatever. Yeah, again, you know, it's interesting. Like you can kind of join, join the dots yourself, make up your own story. And of course, um everyone's familiar with the paper plane so yeah I like that one what else did I pick oh look uh, it's me I ha really have to say fair play for photographing my work properly I kind of do realize you know it's, it's hard like because of all the shiny bits that I use in my work it's quite tricky so yeah, it's probably the best photograph I've ever seen in my work. So thanks, Hermans, and your and Studio Ten and the photographer. So Catherine Ryan in bits and brackets have a cup of tea in bits have a cup of tea. This is one of four that I made in twenty sixteen. Which, um, if you remember, there was a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot of celebrations about. Ireland's uh, centenary of the 1916 Rising. Um, so, yeah, Irish-themed, you know, the obsession with tea. So you, you can't really tell in print, but that's a hologram, so that the cup of tea kind of moves. I love using them, her beautiful font, old-fashioned font. That's not my signature, but I like to play around with the idea of other people writing your name. So that's some card or something, or God knows what it's from, but someone else is writing my name. Uh, cash that's from a that's a plastic bit of card that is a teeny tiny little camera that I wired onto the canvas uh, so I guess you can make it out in, in this excellent quality photograph that that's one of my favorite finds ever that's the corner okay so I was walking along Molesworth Street with a friend years ago what was on the ground only a load of corners of passports so I don't know if they still do this, but your old passport, you know, when it was decommissioned or whatever, they literally cut off the corners. So I found a load of corners of passports on the street. 
and I worked them into Irish themed paintings. Again, afterwards, some liminal messages. That looks quite like an angry eye, which I didn't paint consciously at the time. The stuff going on at the time. I uh, can't remember the lad's name. Anyway, um, I thought, uh, anyway, I, I'll tell you later. Later, um, it was about the Irish government's lack of response to help one of their own citizens, basically. Um, that there is like a gold, shiny thing from a, I don't know, a ribbon. Yeah, so that's 3D in real life. Oh, uh, that's another bit of the passport. Something about how many years it lasts for, I think. Ten years. Anyway, so that is my piece in the catalogue. Very chuffed about that. Thanks, Hermans and Studio 10. And I'm next to uh, Mosey. I hope I'm saying that right. Come on, phone. Uh, Art in Transit. I've, I genu I when I was looking at the auction, which is online by the way, it's open now, all weekend as well. And of course, this caught my eye um, straight away. Again, my favorite kind of art style: friendly, cartoony, you know, imaginative um, art about art. And you know, like just this summer, I noticed. Um, his style, or no, Keith Herring. Jeez, I always struggle to remember his name. I don't know, old age. Um, yeah, sure, pennies. I remember posting about that. Pennies were selling his uh, work in form of tracksuits. Like, and they were cool. I like to see people, again, you know, because it's introducing a whole new generation to his work, which is always good. Um, yeah, and the subway. So he's there doing his thing and, you know, like checking his back. And he's redhead, deadly. So yeah, very happy to be beside Mosey in the catalogue. Thank you. So, um, what else did I pick? This is a... I am a left-hander, but it's a bit... It's a bit awkward now. Are you still with me? Just bear with me, folks. Oh yeah, okay. So, needless to say, yes, I love colour. Okay, so here's another one that wasn't in the physical exhibition, but I absolutely love. Um, Rukmini Kalkar, City of Dreams. Ah, I also made a painting, City of Dreams. It's a very nice title. And again, the colours, the imagination, letting people fill in the blanks themselves. There's a steps, who knows where that's going. Doorways, I see an eye corner of a face, factory, again, there's a lot going on, um, yes, this is the kind of artwork that I love, uh, layers, city of dreams, okay, what else did I pick, what else did I pick, oh, God. the one hand, oh yeah, okay, here's another one, uh, that was in the physical exhibition, quite a big Big, large work, mostly large works in the physical exhibition. Rachel Coyne, Susanna, and I'm assuming that's a typo. Susanna and the Creeps, brilliant. So, you know, here's a woman trying to just make her way home, and I guess she's kind of being accosted by these two wannabe uh, princes, or, you know, I guess they think they're um, all that, we're kings. When my friend, I went with a, a, an artist friend, Sean O'Neill, to the exhibition last night, opening, and uh, he said, he started talking about it before I, I saw it myself, and he was saying, oh, more people should do paintings of public transport because they're so kind of renaissance, you know, like there's always, there's always something happening, you know, you got people sharing a share, the uh, Sharing the same space, you know, they're like they're all on the same journey momentarily. So, yeah, that's an interesting and fun, uh, I would say, um, painting as well. It tells a story, definitely. Sorry. Oh, God. I'll just have to flick through. Just hold on there now. What else? Uh, okay. Sorry, 